In Charles Lambert's advanced carpentry class, students have the chance to create any object they want out of wood. Many build pieces of furniture, but for senior Owen Barrett, It's a little time consuming, but honestly I think it's worth it for the designs that you get from it. He's focused on making something a little more unique. And I've always been kind of interested with how stuff's been built, so I've watched some YouTube videos on people building guitars out of like jawbreakers or epoxy resin, so I'm like, you know, building it out of wood shouldn't be that bad. He's been preparing the layout for his custom guitar since the start of the semester, and got the idea for the project when taking carpentry earlier this year. Uh, I came up with this idea back in, I'd have to say May, when uh, Mr. Lambert was telling us about advanced finished carpentry. Uh, he was saying that you can build whatever you want, so I figured building guitar was something I'm passionate about and I was going to use, so I figured why not. This piece is unlike anything done before it, making Lambert unsure how to aid Barrett, leaving him to figure out the details, and also attracting the attention of other students in the class. He's pretty independent, so he's he's been he's only come to me when he's needed to come to me. It, a lot of the other students that don't have his confidence come to me all the time, and he it's more like I'm just watching him what he's doing. Uh, his project is very unique. It's something that no one else has done in the class, and it probably costs a lot more than everything else. The process of building a guitar is a complex one, requiring lots of attention to detail in order to make sure everything fits together and ensure that the guitar sounds proper. Uh, so the first thing I did was I built the neck of the guitar, which has alternating pieces of maple and walnut. That way it has that uh, split design to it. And then I had to create the headstock for it, and I was attaching the tuning machines to it. And then the body is where it really got difficult. I chose to use the CNC machine to uh, get machine cutting on it. So I talked to Mr. Menser and he walked me through the steps of how to like take an image and put it into Inventor so I can create the router's like path for it. And at that point it was just like sanding, getting the edges down and fixing any of the pockets. Moving past the class, Barrett hopes that he can look back on this experience as he moves towards college. It might just be something that I hang on my wall once I get my own place, but for the time being it's a cool part of my history in high school. But for now, Barrett just hopes to finish his creation. Uh, right now I just have to put all the electronics in so pickups will go in. I have to solder it to the electronics, then it's just fitting the pick guard and putting the other pieces back together.